what is up guys welcome back to another trip to the thrift if you guys are enjoying the videos hit that like button it lets me know and it helps the channel grow go ahead and drop a comment down below i try to respond to all the comments i can and hit that sub button if you guys are not already and you guys do enjoy these videos so let's go see what we can find at the thrift store this week found this batman tee with all the villains in the background they want 6.99 for it to size xl but i don't know if it's really worth that price but i might grab it just for personal wear just because i like the graphic on it so much the curious george tee where he's like painting 2.99 size large and on the back you got i love that monkey and then i also found the nike tech fleece in a size large for 6.99 these always do good for me and then uh the pepperdine for 4.99 size l champion reverse weave so two uh easy cops for me if there's one thing i learned over the last year or so is taylor swift stuff sells reputation tour t pretty sure i've actually sold the same one for 3.99 size 2 xl the polo ralph lauren t with the american flag but this looks bigger than a 2x it looks like it's probably like a three maybe even four <laughs> it does have like some dust down there like it looks like it fell on the floor and got kicked around a little bit but that should wash out and then here's a couple tees that they're kind of taxing on but they are brand new the 2011 mavericks champions tee 6.99 a mavericks finals tee for 8.99 and then the 2006 western conference finals mavs tee for 5.99 but as a mavericks fan we don't like to talk about this one for 7.98 Eight buck. I found the Pittsburgh Steelers crew neck by Legend Athletic, size XL. Steelers embroidered and then the big football print. Gotta take meows for 99 cents. Here in the shoe section, I found a pair of Yin Yangs, which is pretty surprising because I never find any shoes in this store, at least not recently. Size 11 and a half, pretty beat, but they're only 30 bucks. So definitely a cop. I had just came through here. So somebody either just put this out or they put it back with the Atlanta 1996 starter windbreaker size XL for $8.99. So glad I came back through here. And then I went and looked in the women's section and I found these, the Reebok Classics hoodie. Well, not really a hoodie, I guess a sweater. It's just got the big logo on the front and then the logo on the back. That one's a size small. And then I'm not good with my Bape stuff. I was never really into Bape, so I don't know if this one's legit, but the baby Milo hoodie. So yeah, I'll probably pick it up and take the gamble. Maybe you guys can let me know. They actually know more about this than I do. Here's two things I found. The uh, Barcelona jersey, $2.99, size medium. And then this uh, like Kill Bill wrap tee <laughs> for $2.99. Obviously a reprint, a new one, but I still think for three bucks, it's worth it. I always check the Halloween section because you never know what you're going to find. And I found the further Grateful Dead tour tee right here. Fall tour 2010 with the big tree on the back. $2.99, size large on the Delta tag. A couple pairs of shoes I found, some 990 V5s and a 5.5Y. And then some Air Max 90s in the Volt colorway. They went, they went 13 for those. I'll never understand the hype behind New Balance. I personally think they're super ugly and uh, <laughs> I would never wear them. Don't Be a Menace is probably the Wayne's Brothers best movie in my opinion. <laughs> we got the DGK Don't Be a Menace tee. The Keith Haring Uniqlo tee, size large. Little New York logo right there. They want $6.99 for that one though. For $2.99, found the Rosalina plush. For $8.99, size 2X, we got the Tigger crew neck. I wish it was a little cheaper. We got the Walt Disney World Spirit Jersey. Always love finding these because they're always priced cheap. And um, for you guys that don't know, these Disney World Spirit Jerseys actually have some really good value to them. Size medium. You got like the park on the front and then goodbye. And then this one I really don't want to pay $40 for, but I think it's worth it. This uh, Ralph Lauren Polo like crest crew neck, still brand new with tags. And as you can, you guys see that retail price on it. Magic Harp. Yeah, I think if I put these on, I'll be able to run really fast. <laughs> Found this dirt tee for $2.59, but instead of Nowitzki on the back, you got Reed Durkulis, number 41. <laughs> and then check out this tee I found for $1.99. Wish it was my size, but it's like a size medium. The Legend of Zelda. Then you got four links right there. The two links, and on the back, you got Nintendo New York. 
and it's only two bucks so definitely grabbing that one then i found this braniff international tea i guess it's the airlines i have no idea but i just really like the colors on it and it's only a dollar 99 on the back you have the big logo and here's a texas instruments dlp cinemas tea size xl for 2.99 and on the back you have is it the forces or the power of picture mayo 2. Here's a 1998 The Mountain Tee, date it right there. Size 2XL with the Wolves. They went $3.99 for that one. And then for $2.99, the Pro Bowl crew neck embroidered on size XL on the Signal Sports. What do you guys think about the changes they're making to the Pro Bowl now? Instead of one game, it's gonna be like a week long series of events. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Found this Nike tee right here. I just thought it was cool. It's got the air from like the up tempos. It's size small for four ninety nine. dollars Not really worth it. And it's got like this big graphic on the back. Then I found the center swoosh Nike hoodie. These are, are these still hyped up? <laughs> size large, eight ninety nine. dollars The old Nike tag and like the forest green color. I'm honestly probably gonna try this one on. If it fits me, I might just keep this one. For eight ninety nine. dollars they got the um, Disney Epcot. It is a newer one. As you guys can tell by the tag, size medium. And then on the back, you have like all the countries. The black denim Levi's jacket for $15 size XL. Here's this Tayshawn Prince toddler jersey. 24 months for $3.99. Sometimes these like toddler suits, jerseys, onesies, whatever you want to call them, can be worth a little bit. <laughs> then we got the uh, Bob the Tomato. Is it Bob or Larry? I think Larry's the cucumber, but Veggie Tales tea. $2.99 size large on the old Gildan tag. Is it bad? The only reason why I remember Veggie Tales is from that episode of Drawn Together. Does anybody even remember Drawn Together? <laughs> Here's this Reebok Chivas jersey, size XL. Does have a little wear on the bimbo right there. No player on the back. And that one, they're only asking $3 for. The Disney Epcot tee, Disney Mexico. Size XL for $2.59. Mickey in a sombrero. And then here's this uh, Dortmund, <laughs> I guess, jersey. I don't know if it's legit. You guys can let me know, size XL. It does have this mark down here on the bottom. They're asking $6 on that one. And then the Nike Michigan jersey, size 2XL for $2.99. No name, number 23. And then you can never go wrong with a Disney Spirit jersey, size small, unfortunately. Disney World on the back in like this teal color. And again, $4.99. All right, I just came out the store. Uh, I got like, you know, that Bob shirt and a couple, you know, the toddler jersey. Uh, did I show until dawn? This is one I was looking for for a minute to add to my collection because I have like the other ones. So I figured I'd just get them, try to get them all. But I got this, the backwards compatible PS3 for 60 bucks. So hopefully it works. I mean, even if it doesn't, I'll be able to make a little bit on it if I can sell it for parts, but it's like super clean. So I don't know, I guess we'll see. All right, guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. It lets me know. Drop a comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week with another one. Later.